Coming up on the What I Needed to Hear series, episode 8. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've encountered a jealous ass bitch and these were the things she was doing. When I say some of my points, you guys are probably gonna be like, oh, really? But this is what she was doing. This is how she was behaving. This is what she was saying. And this is what's giving me that green light that's like, okay, this is a jealous ass bitch. Bonjour et to say, my name is Electra, and you're watching the What I Needed to Hear series, <laughs> episode eight. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm literally so sorry for missing an upload last week. I was so, so, so sick. I literally am still sick right now, but I cannot miss two in a row. We're just not doing it. You feel me? So, as you can see by the title, How to Spot a Jealous Bitch. Clearly, we are gonna be talking about jealous bitches. Before I get into this topic, I'ma need y'all to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> like right now. What are you waiting for? Hit it? Good. Now let's get on to the video. <clears throat> So the first sign to spotting a jealous bitch is actually something I would have never thought of until my most recent experience. Over complimenting, all right? Be weary. Is it weary? Whatever. Pay attention. Pay attention to those girls or those guys who compliment you a little too much. Okay, now listen. It's it's one thing if every time you see your friend, they're like, oh my gosh, you look so good. Or, oh my gosh, you look so pretty. Or oh my gosh, you eating it up. But it's a whole other thing for every single conversation to be one of which they are gassing you the f up, hyping you the f up, complimenting you a little bit too much. Now listen, I am the first one to compliment my friends and I am also the first one to accept the compliment, come on. <laughs> but listen, I had an experience where someone would compliment me every single conversation. It does get overbearing. How often do you need to compliment someone to get your point across? Why do they feel the need to compliment you that much? No, like ask yourself, like why? Well, like genuinely ask yourself who does that. Like look in your life right now, tell me who is complimenting you every single second of the day, every single conversation, every text message, every everything. Every time they encounter you, it's compliment after compliment after compliment, no conversation. Who does that? Nobody does that, except the jealous bitches. I honestly can't tell you why. I have no idea why they do this, but this is just something that I've observed. I have a good friend, she's a Leo, I love her, all right? And she be asking me up, but it's not overwhelming, it's not overbearing, and it doesn't make me feel like she's obsessed with me. She respects me, she thinks I'm cute, and she lets me know. And this leads me on to my second point. When they start to compare themselves to you, and they could do this via the compliments. Let me give you an example. Oh my gosh, your body is so nice. I wish I had a body like yours. Oh my gosh, your body is so nice. Why can't my body look like yours? Oh my gosh, you're so perfect. Why can't I be like you? When they start saying shit like that, you better fucking run because they are playing a dangerous game. Ooh, my bad, y'all. Kenny, you good? Okay. They are playing a dangerous game right now. It is one thing to be inspired by someone to be like, oh my gosh, you know what? Your body looks good. I don't want body to look like that. You feel me? But when they start saying shit like, why can't I look like you? Why can't I be you? How come I don't look like that? How come God can't give me this? Da -da 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 -da. Mm -mm. That is not how you compliment someone. Now, I try to put myself in their shoes and see times where I've complimented people, but I've compared myself in the same breath. And the only times I've done that was when, for example, if I see a girl with a good body or a girl with long hair, or a girl with perfect teeth, I'd be like, if I had a body like yours, I wouldn't know how to act. <laughs> if I had hair as long as yours, I wouldn't know how to behave. I'm not gonna lie to you. If I had a smile like yours, I would not stop smiling. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Now listen to the energy and listen to this energy. Oh, your body's so nice. Why can't my body look like that? You see the difference? Because this is not a competition, baby. This is not a game of comparison. Comparison is a thief of joy. Why are you commenting by tearing yourself down? That don't make no sense. I just feel like a genuine compliment doesn't mean you have to tear yourself down with it. You can appreciate my body without talking bad about yours. You know what I mean? But yeah, that was something that she did. And I was just like, that's weird. I don't do that shit. My friends don't do that shit, but you do that, you you does that shit. And I found out you're jealous, you're weird. Anyways, so that brings me on to number three, the final sign that you've encountered a jealous ass bitch. When they use words 
in a lighthearted and playful way. For example, words like, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of you. And you know what? I feel like when you hear that like point that I just made, it's like, okay, girl, obviously they're jealous, they said it. But no, some people have a very playful and lighthearted delivery where it sounds like, oh my, she's just saying that. But no, pay attention to the words people use around you. If someone says, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of you because blah, 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 pay attention. If someone says, oh my gosh, I hate you, <laughs> pay attention. But you know what? You gotta use your discernment with the I hate you one because some people they're not really good with the whole like I love you stuff or like the whole like affection stuff they can be like oh my gosh I hate you but they genuinely mean they love you you know so use your discernment with that one but if someone says oh my gosh I'm so jealous or oh my gosh you look so good I'm jelly or oh my gosh blah, 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 I'm jealous pay attention and I've also had this girl who I believe was jealous of me because her tendencies were matching the other jealous bitches tendencies and she said oh my gosh like I want to kill you what the fuck is that a threat? Why are you saying this? Like, her, I've given out many compliments, uh, many compliments in my day, and I've never said I wanna kill you. My friends never said they wanna kill me. Nobody's, like, I've never heard that before. Pay attention. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, like, I wanna kill you. What the hell? Why are you dressing it up like it's supposed to be something cute? That's not cute, bitch. That's like a big, big, I think that might be one of the biggest red flags. When they're using like powerfully negative words, but they're dressing it up in like a lighthearted way, pay attention. They're saying it for a reason. Don't let these things go over your head. Don't be like, oh, they're just playing around or oh, they didn't mean it. Pay attention. Now I'm not saying if someone says, oh my gosh, you look so good, I'm so jealous. Don't be quick to cut them off, but keep that in the back of your head and then pay attention to their actions, pay attention to their behaviors and pay attention to how they treat other people. Cause if you see that same person saying, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous to somebody else. And then they come to you and talk shit about that person they said they're so jealous of. Hmm, they're doing the same thing to you behind your back, girl. Don't be naive in this world, baby. Don't, don't be naive, don't be like me. Cause I'm here thinking, oh yeah, like she just like me, oh yeah, 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 no. These were hating. And you wanna know how I knew this was actually jealous and this was actually hating because of <laughs> Hopefully this video wasn't too all over the place. You know, like it's been a while since I recorded a video for y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little rusty, feel me? But yeah, these are the signs that you spotted a jealous ass bitch. And these are the signs that you need to pay attention to, keep in the back of your head and continue to observe their behavior and what they say and how they act. You know what I'm saying? Because bitches are jealous and I don't want you to have any jealous bitch friends. I really don't. I want the best for you, so I'm making this video. And you know what? Shout out to that girl for being the prime example of what a jealous ass bitch is. Because now I know and now y'all know too. Hopefully y'all understood. Hopefully y'all see where I'm coming from. And hopefully you don't have any of these types of people in your life. And if you do, pay attention. But yeah, if you like this video, hit the big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment or whatever. All right, my name is Electra, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.